Hey everybody, I'm LegoLover117, and today I wanted to make a little video showcasing my Thomas Wooden Railway collection like every single Thomas Wooden Railway YouTuber does on their channel at some point in their life. I don't know how long it's been since I made one of these collection videos. I don't think I made one last year. Um, maybe I did. Not too sure. But I've actually acquired a few items over the last year, and uh, I wanted to show them off to you. So, here we go. We're going to begin with just the regular engines and whatnot, and engines I only have one of. Duplicates and rolling stock will be later in the video. These are in no order whatsoever. I literally just pulled them out of the bucket. I keep them in and just set them up in these rows. So that's why we're starting with my original Thomas from when I was a kid. Okay, apologies for that. That looks a little bit better. Um, here's my original Thomas from when I was a kid. I think it's from 2001. And then here is an old style Percy. 2014 Gordon. 2003 Henry, 2006 Oliver, uh, the 2014 Duck, the new style James from 2005, I'm not sure how this snuck in here, but here's an extra Oliver, it's 2014's version, I know, I lied and said that uh, duplicates would be later, but Oliver was in the bucket there, if you can see that, here's the 2015 Coldy. The original Diesel, Steven, Stanley from 2017, which I maintain the opinion that he is better than the OG Stanley. Old Style Toby, Quarry Dust Mavis, Stephanie, Neil, and the original Flying Scotsman. Old Style Edward, the 1994 Rusty with the white, white roof, <laughs> sorry, um, and the short black front face. There, love this Rusty compared to the uh, other Rusty. Porter, Frank, Ryan, Old Style Lady, Harvey, Salty, Victor, Dennis, Samson, Shima. Only reason I have a Shima is because I picked her up at a Toys R Us closing sale. Uh, D199. Here's a new addition to the collection. This is... Class 40, Diesel 261, or just the Diesel. Uh, Trying to get a little closer here with the camera. Wilbert, Philip, and Logan. Daisy, Boko, or bad character, as a lot of people on Twitter like to say. Uh, kind of agree with that. Emily, Mike, we throw through uh, Mike's tender, because his name is Mike, and uh, that's his tender. Uh, Scarloe, that's the 2013 version of Scarloe. Derek, uh, Hugo, also picked Hugo up at a Toys R Us closing sale. Didn't really care much for Hugo's character, but uh, it's nice to have as the final Thomas Wooden Railway item released here in the States. Diesel 10, the original Diesel 10. Fergus, Luke, Bert, uh, the two pack of. Bill and Ben from 2014, with Ben being painted blue. Arthur, Bertram, Sir Handel, Peter Sam, Reneus, Skiff, Duncan, Ivo Hugh, Murdoch, Spencer, Old Style, Donald and Douglas. Well, I guess there really wasn't a new style version of them. Well, technically this would be the new style, because it's got the uh, the molded coal back there because the 1992 version didn't have molded coal so I guess I lied these are new style this is most definitely not the new style uh, this is old style Duke the B big city engine Connor Sam Arian Burt Norman Paxton Splatter and Dodge and then I I think I include this in every collection video but this is a Brio Polar Express engine Technically not Thomas Wooden Railway, but it's cool to have. I think I got it with the DVD release whenever I was a kid. So, those are the main engines. Now, let's actually do the duplicate engines. Alright, after a quick jump cut, we're back. We've set up for the duplicate engines. We're starting with Thomas, and unlike the previous section, these are actually in a specific order. So, as I said, starting with Thomas, this is my original 1994 Thomas, which I've had a lot of people tell me over the um, years. Well, you should get a 1992 Thomas. Get an original. 
This 94 Thomas is exactly the same as a 92. I don't need one. Here's another. I believe this is 94. I got this in a set I bought off eBay years ago. Yeah, I'm gonna look at its date. 94. Uh, this has seen better days. Uh, the figure eight set I got this in um, was not in the best of shape, but I got it for the extra track and for the uh, rolling stock. And having another 94 Thomas, uh, this one with round magnets instead of uh, flat ones like this one, um, is kind of cool. 1997 Thomas, out of puff Thomas, 1999 Thomas that has had his paint stripped away. Uh, I did not do that. I don't remember where I got this from. I think I got it second hand. Uh, here are three 2002 to 2003 Thomases, all with no stripes. And here's a 2003 Thomas with stripes. Snowplow Thomas and two 2013 Thomases. Two old style Henrys, one old style Gordon, one 2003 Gordon. Old style James, whose paint just continues to chip away. This poor guy, man, I feel bad for him. Uh, busy as a B James, really got it because of that face. And also, Trains Galore was going out of business. Uh, my original childhood new style Percy. Or that's old style, not new style. This is new style here that I got in a wooden train bonus pack. Is this the 65th or 60th anniversary of Percy? Hang on. Okay, celebrating 60 years, Percy. Um, I won that in Wooden Railway Only's contest a few years back. Here's the Adventures of Percy 3 pack with Cold Dust Percy, the most practical one out of the three. Chocolate Covered Percy. And then Jack Frost Percy, who is uh, more yellow than white. And then the Silver Percy, which is another 60-year one. Here's Old Style Duck, Old Style Oliver. You already saw my 2014 Oliver in the first part of this video. Old Style Scarloe, Rusty, a newer style one with the larger black front face there. Old Style Bill and Ben. And then this Ben, here, I'll bring it closer so you guys can see it. This Ben was rescued from a Barnes and Noble, and by rescued, I mean I smuggled it out. The kids really destroyed this thing, and I took it because, one, I didn't want it to endure any more pain and torture, uh, but I thought maybe I could turn it into a custom scrap engine one day, um, but I have no means to make customs, so it just kind of remains as a memento in my collection uh, to show like how bad kids can be with these kinds of things. Uh, old style Coley, new style Lady, second Mike, second Dennis, and my old style Mavis, who is sporting a ton of dust on her, actually, um, as well as stickers, sticker residue. I put stickers on my engines when I was a kid. I don't know why. So those are my extras or my duplicates. Now we'll move on to the final section, rolling stock and roadway vehicles. All right, we're here for the rolling stock and roadway vehicles portion of this collection. And this, by far, is the portion of the collection that's grown the biggest over the last year. So here we go, we're going to get started. Here's my childhood pair of Annie and Clarabelle. An extra Annie and an extra pair of Annie and Clarabelles. So I've got five of these, like, branch line coaches slash Annie and Clarabelles now. Pretty awesome. Four express coaches now. I had two to start with, and now I've got four. Yippee. Natford Express Coach. Bootleg Old Slow Coach. Hector. There's a new one. This two-pack I bought off eBay. Someone made customs. They painted a van and a tanker black, and I thought, hey, why not? I needed some more rolling stock, so I have a black van and a black tanker. They could use a new coat of paint, though. Two Yumpsters tankers, those are new. One rickety and then another rickety that's new. This truck from the Giggling Troublesome Trucks 2-pack, this is the original truck that came from that. Uh, I found this one more useful than the tarped ones, so that's the only one I got. And then there's the new version of the Giggling Troublesome Trucks 2-pack. Here's the Blue Mountain Quarry 2-pack with the new style Scruffy with the exploding dynamite and the Blue Mountain Quarry truck. Catherine, she's also new, as well as Fred Pelhay. A barrel car with a flower barrel, as well as, what barrel is this? Oil. 
came in a lot, I believe. Two great troublesome trucks, another barrel car with just the oil barrel. I have a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black standard cargo cars, each with a cargo to go in them. This one's not really a cargo, it's just two fence pieces, but it's cool, I guess. Red special cargo car that came with Logan with the black coal piece. Yellow special cargo car that came in the um, glow-in-the-dark two-pack from Henry in the Dark. Got that glow-in-the-dark piece there. Tan special cargo car with the present piece. There's the other part of the glow-in-the-dark two-pack from Henry in the Dark. You push it, it turns on. Cool, I guess. Red cargo car with a Blue Mountain Quarry cargo piece that came with Merrick, that came with the Merrick set. Tibbeth milk tanker, Soto Search and Rescue fuel tanker, another Tibbeth milk tanker, Soto fuel tanker, came from here the Japanese train, the 10 years in America coach, the cargo car, or not cargo car, the ballast car, sorry I can't get a good angle on this, the ballast car from the Sodor Railway Repair. This piece from Oliver's Fossil Freight with the uh, dinosaur fossil in it. Mainly just use the cargo car though. Scruffy, an extra Emily tender. This came in a lot and I don't really need it. So um, I'm probably gonna use it as rolling stock like a coal truck or something. Breakdown train, Sodor Line Caboose, one of them. Um, the original aquarium cars, which I maintain, are actually pretty good. Uh, they just look like regular vans to me. Second Soda Line Caboose, Winter Caboose, the recycling cars, Soda China Clay cars, a pair of green box cars, one yellow box car, gold mine, rickety, uh, the Soda construction cars that came with Rusty, third Soda Line Caboose, Ada Jane and Mabel, 1992 Henrietta. New Style Toad, and two Sodor Honey Company cars, both missing the Honey Cargo. Um, so that was Rolling Stock. Yeah, it's expanded a lot. But behind that, I've got roadway vehicles. Here's a 2003 Birdie. Bulgy. Lori One, he's new. Uh, George. Elizabeth. Caroline. Trevor. Jack. Alfie. Butch, Terrence, this Brio truck that came from here, the Japanese train, Harold the helicopter, and the Soda Bay tugboat. So that's the rolling stock and railroad vehicles, but we're not done yet. We have one final section to take a look at, and that one's a surprise. So in my previous collection video, whenever year that was I made, I totally forgot to talk about the items I still have in their boxes. Um, I still keep all of my old Thomas Wynn Railway boxes, for the most part, for the items I bought in store for the last couple of years. Matter of fact, some of them are laying over there, if you can tell. I keep them in that Napford Station box up there. Um, but these are the items I specifically keep in their boxes, uh, and one of them is brand new in the box, so here we go. There's Introducing James that I picked up at the train convention, as well as the Thomas Engine gift pack. Both of those I got at the convention before they were available to the general public so that was kind of cool to be able to put out reviews of those before anybody else did that was awesome so was the thomas engine gift pack i love this thing it's amazing here's old style toby and old style D -D duck these are not brand new in their boxes the tape has been taken off they can be taken out of their boxes but i like keeping them in there because uh, it's cool and then here's the item that's brand new in the box this is a brand new mic um you can tell it's brand new because the tape has not been unsealed. If I ever meet up with Ted, I am totally getting him to sign this because his name is Mike and it's a meme and uh, that was a really cool purchase to buy on eBay. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That is my complete Thomas Wooden Railway collection, excluding track and destinations and whatnot, but I don't really have the energy to show those to you because getting up and down off this floor, it's a lot on a, on a 20 year old's legs. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and good night everybody.